and welcome to Hedgehog Hollow. All of this week we had some storage and organisation tips for you on our Facebook Lives. If you don't already follow us on Facebook, we're at Hedgehog Hollow Inc. I -N -K, and we have a daily 11.30am Eastern Facebook Live on a variety of things from storage and organisation to stamping and different stamp tips. So make sure to follow along live every day for some fun giveaways and some interactive prizes. Also, I like to do a weekly roundup here on YouTube, so let's get started with this week's organisation and storage tips. So first up this week, I share with you one of my happy drawers. Now if you just open this drawer, doesn't it look so beautiful and colourful and you just want to dive in and have fun? These are the drawers that I showed you once before that I use to store my ribbons in, but there's so much more you can do with them. So these ones here all have my stickles in and at some point they'll get organised into distress stickles and the ultra stickles and those sorts of things. This one I put some enamel accents, my to die fours and a couple of re that don't have any other homes. And then this one is predominantly liquid pearls and then finally we have over here my alcohol inks which are all in the original packaging if they don't look familiar. These are great because this final one here is adjustable. So if you wanted one just for re you can adjust it to the perfect size. Um, if you want to store things like your Nouveau glitter, you could again, you could make it smaller by sliding that in, although they do fit perfectly in here too. So let's move on to some other storage and I'm going to show you my two top drawers which are my go-to next to my desk. So during the week I showed you two uses for this awesome uh, fridge bin that I've got from um, Amazon and I'll have all of these linked up on the blog as normal. This is my adhesives drawer. So this is my top right drawer and my go-to drawer for anything. At the back there's a heat gun, my clips tape, um, my masking tapes that I, you see me use. All those kinds of things just stay in the back that aren't used quite as often. In the front here I can keep my foam pads just stacked up, including my foam strips. And then this is great. So in here fits perfectly my micropore tape and my post-it tape. And then next to those I can keep all three of my uh, tape rollers just stacked in there, they fit perfectly. Then I've got a pre-dispenser for sellotape. Um, and in here I keep some glue sticks, a Pritt stick, those sorts of things. And in this side I can stand up glue dots, uh, electrical tape and, and glue dots out the box. My adhesive erasers stay in here and my all over post-it notes also just stuck in here really nicely. Then I also keep, you saw this little tea light holder because quite often I take this out the drawer and put it on my workspace and the reason for that is I have um, a fine tip glue pen which will just stand up and you can pop it back into here and it stays stood up while you're working and the same with the Tombow Mono. So while I'm working I can just keep those upside down so the glue is ready to go. Now let's move over to the left side and you can see how I used it for my other drawers. So this is the second drawer that I showed you during the week and it again uses the same uh, fridge bin which I've linked up on the blog for you and I love this, this is my top left drawer next to my desk. There are places for me to keep my um, archival pads, I keep a few blending tools, my dye brush and then I have these two bins in it. So this front one is a great little size, it also comes in slightly longer and in here I can keep all my ombre pads, my stays on and my mementos all upside down so they're nice and juicy and ready to go and that just slides in the front here like that and then here I have um, in one side of the fridge bin I keep my stamping mist my stays on cleaner and some alcohol blending solution which is the best kind of cleaner to have around your craft room it takes all sorts of things off I have this awesome little q-tip holder and I use q-tips all the time to go around the edge of my stamps just spray them with some stamping mist and run them around the edge you don't get any of those nice blotchy edges so again I'll link this up for you I keep my sand eraser in here. A sand eraser is great if you just get a little smudge. You can take this to your cardstock and it will take those little ink smudges away for you. And at the back, there's a perfect amount of space to store all of my acrylic blocks. And in here, I can fit pretty much up to this kind of size, which is an eye, um, because I can. Um, so if I turn it here, you can see it better. So this fits up to an eye. If I had a taller drawer, I could actually fit even more and bigger ones in here. And at the back, I keep my really big ones, but I don't use those particularly often uh, because I use my Misty or my Stamp Perfect. And there's also a Stamp-a-Magic tool that I keep in the back here. 
So that's that drawer, let's move on to the next one. So next up, I shared with you my envelope storage. Now I've been through many solutions from tins to drawers and dividers and all sorts of things, but this one I've had for a while and it's really working for me. So this is one of the divided fridge bins, again, which I'll link up on the blog. In the front, I put a mug with some of my um, pens. I often use a Sharpie for addresses, some colored gel pens, a stapler, the sorts of things you use regularly. Then in here, there's a lovely little slot. They fit perfectly at some of my little card bases with matching envelopes. Then there's space to stack up all my different colours of envelopes, all the way through to some of my rainbow colours at the back and some of those larger and tall ones, as well as some of the plastic uh, gift bags and the plastic envelopes I often store my cards in. Now on this side, I put my square envelopes just standing up in different sizes, so they're tiered. I keep those really boring envelopes that we need for our bills in the side here. And I keep a plastic folder with some of my stamps in it too, just so that I can put things straight in the mail. And I put those together with a little gold binder clip. At the back here, there's some gift bags if I want to put goodies in. Um, and there's some more pre-packaged card bases in the back here. And this is absolutely one of my favourites. So this is something that I got on Amazon. Um, again, I'll link up to it. And this is a little Scotty dog that you can store your washi tape on and it has a really handy dispenser on the top. So I can just pull off some washi tape and cut it and go, which I put on the back of most of my envelopes just to make sure they stay secured during postage. So let's move on to our final uh, thing for this week, which was my embellishment storage. So finally this week, I showed you my solution that also fits in the Alex drawers. It fits in the three lower, uh, deeper ones. And this was to store embellishments in. Now there's so much you can store in here, depending on your requirements. So you can see I have washi tape. I have some of the stamping of embellishment packs. I have my twine that comes on cards. And I have some embellishments um, and bits and pieces from kits from previous times as well. But here's some other ideas for you. So the Stampin' Up Notelet sets, they all sit in here perfectly. As do envelopes. Um, so if you don't need the big envelope storage that I showed you earlier, if you have a smaller collection, they fit in here perfectly. Pre-cut card fronts, so if you cut the quarters or halves and pre-fold them, you can stick those in here and you could do one for neutrals, brights, regals um, and subtles. Or you can fit um, some of the stress packs, things like that. They all fit in here perfectly. If you want to pre-cut your watercolour cardstock and your vellum, they will fit in there. As will all the jewels and diamonds. Again, they just sit straight in there. And it will still fit in your drawer that you can close it. Or you can leave it out, depending on what storage solutions you have. The Stampin' Up! mini um, stamp cases, if you use those to store things, they will sit in here too. As will the packets that the lace doilies originally come in. So there's a few options for you to um, store some of your embellishments. So I hope you found this week's tutorials on storage and organisation helpful. Join us again next week for our So Long to Stamping Up, the best of the current product offering and my favourite set, sets and tools. And then we will have the great big launch for our new project. So thanks for stopping by. Happy stamping. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can visit us on YouTube at Hedgehog Hollow Inc. I -N -K. And you can watch us on Instagram for sneak peeks and behind the scenes at Hedgehog Hollow. See you again soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.